All right, Algebra 2, good morning. Let's do this. So let's um, continue our journey of uh, rational expressions. And the idea for today is how will we multiply and divide rational expressions. So for here, notice that if we have this rational expression, x cubed over 4y times y squared over x, let's just write this over here. The idea is that we will just multiply across. So notice that the idea is to have this notation, that if I have some a over b times c over d, all we're doing is multiplying the top and we're also multiplying the bottom. Okay, and they stay. So here we're just going to multiply the top and here we're going to multiply the bottom. So this is 4 times x, y. Okay, and you would say, oh, why did you not make it yx? Usually you want it to be in alphabetical order. Okay, and then how do you simplify this? Well, notice that you have to think of chunks. So notice that this 4, which is on the bottom, right? So here, let me extend this a little bit. Notice that there is an invisible 1 over here, right? So notice that this is 1 over 4 times, what's the next part? x cubed over x, so that's over here. And you have y squared over y. Okay, so then now here, how does it simplify? We have 1 over 4 times x squared times y. Okay, so then this just leaves us with x squared y over 4. Okie dokie. All right, let's go for the next one. Here, the idea for this part is, okay, we still have, notice that we still have the same setup, right? We have some a over b times c over d, right? And that's equal to ac over bd. So what are we asked to do? We need to multiply the top and multiply the bottom. But always, 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 if possible, oh, sorry, always, if possible, factor around. Okay, so what does that mean, factor around? Here, notice that if we have the top of 3x minus 6, right? So here, let's say if we have it in this setup. Notice, can you factor 3x minus 6? And you can. It'll be 3 times x minus 2. Okay, because notice that what's 3 times x, it's 3x, and what's 3 times minus 2, it's minus 6. Okay, try and factor these as well, and we'll see what happens. Pause the video. Okay, so notice what can we do with this 2x plus 6? This is also 2 times x plus 3. What can we do with this 5x plus 15? It's 5 times x plus 3. And this is 4 times x plus 2. Okay, and if you feel like maybe this is too fast, take a second and see why this is the proper factorization. Okay, um, so now to continue forward, notice that we can now multiply everything across. So notice what's 3 times 5, here it's 15. What's 2 times 4 is 8. Here, and then what's left on top? We have x minus 2, x plus 3. And here we have x plus 3 over x plus 2. Okay. And what are we allowed to do next? We're allowed to cross these out over here because we have the same binomial on the top and the bottom. So what is x plus 3 over x plus 3? It's equal to 1. And then 1 times anything is the same thing. So then all we're left with, because here you can't cancel the x minus 2, x plus 2. They're different. So all we're left with is 15 times x minus 2 over 8 times x plus 2. Okie dokie. All right. So if you get a second, what I want you to do is try and summarize in a sentence or so, as much as you want, something that you've learned. And maybe you could share it out with somebody a little later. All right. Let's look at the next part over here. Here, um, try and... Do this one by yourself, okay? What's the goal? 
strategy, right? Strategy is, so strategy, one is factor around, okay? Try and factor the top, factor the bottom, factor the top, factor the bottom, and then you're multiplying, right? So pause the video and try and do this by yourself. Okay. okay. So for the first part, how does, does this factor 2x plus 6? Notice that it's 2 times x plus 3. Okay. Um, what about the bottom over here? How does this factor? What two numbers when you multiply give you negative 6, but when you add give you 1, right? And this is x plus 3 x minus 2 okay um, then what about the top over here this is x plus 2 x minus 2 and what do we have on the bottom is 2x okay this is the factored form of the top over here for the bottom for the top and for the bottom and now we can multiply across right so here what, what do we have on top we have 2 times x plus 3, x plus 2, x minus 2, and what do we have on the bottom? x plus 3, x minus 2, and we also have this 2x, and let's put it on the left side, okay? I mean, you could have put this 2x over here, but notice how the things line up, right? Okay, can we simplify anything? Notice that the x plus 3s will cancel, the x minus 2s will cancel, and these twos will cancel. So notice, what are we left with? We're just left with, what's on top, you're just left with x plus two, and what are you left on the bottom? You're just left with an x. And that's it, okay? Try and do, take your time, and try and do this one by yourself, okay? I will put the solution for this one, actually, all right, you know what, I'll just do it for you right now. So let's see. Um, but I want, but first I want you to pause the video, right? Take your time, pause the video, and try and do this. All right, here, let's see. What do we have on the top over here? We have 3 times m plus 2, okay? What do we have over here? 4 times n minus 3, right? Times, okay, what's on the top over here? And notice that there are two different variables. There's an n and an m, okay? So here, you have to factor this. Right? How many times, I mean, what number I'm sorry, sorry, I'm asking. Um, what number, when you multiply, will give you negative 3, but when you add, will give you negative 2. This will be uh, n minus 3, n plus 1. Okay, and then how do you factor the bottom? That's just n plus 2 and n plus 2. Okay, and now once we get this, Instead of like rewriting it, which you could, we could just kind of like extend this line because you're going to multiply anyway, right? Like the top is going to be on the top and the bottom is just going to be on the bottom. So you could kind of just like extend this line. And then let's see what cancels out. This and this cancel. The n minus 3 cancels. And then what are you left with? You're just left with 3 times n plus 1 over. 4 times n plus 2. Okay, dokie. All right. So this was for the first part. I hope it helped. Um, for the next part over here, same idea, but you just have to divide. So for this part over here, and I'm going to let you kind of do this by yourself. Uh, for this part over here, remember that if I have some a over b divided by c over d, right, you have to do keep, change, flip, right? You have to do keep, change, flip. So the idea is we keep this a over b. So this a over b stays, okay? And so like, let's say if I were to do this question, what's going to stay? This x squared minus 4 over 3x, it stays the same. Okay, what's the next thing we're asked to do? Change. So this division symbol becomes multiplication. And that's the same thing happens here. This division becomes multiplication. And then what do we do with the flip over here? We're going to flip this c, over c and d 
just like that. So this is going to be d over c. So this just becomes 2x over x minus 2. Okay? And notice it's the same thing as before. Now we just multiply whatever's on the top, which is ad, and this will be bc. But then how do you do this problem? Before you multiply, you should simplify. Sorry, I'm sorry, uh, before you multiply, you should factor. So here, how does the top factor? Notice that it's x plus 2, x minus 2, and then, right, and then this 2x is here. Okay, and then you have 3x, and then this x minus 2. Okay, then what cancels? Notice that the, this x cancels this x minus 2 cancels, so you're just left with 2 times x plus 2 over 3. Okay. Try and do this one by yourself, and we'll go over it in class.